In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Pickaxe. Pickaxe is a no-code AI app building tool that will let you build, deploy, and embed AI tools on your website or launch them as web apps, which then you can go and monetize, and they help you do the entire thing. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours, and I'd also leave the best discounted link below so you always get your money's worth. I've launched my new impactful traffic community where I'm currently offering a massive discount for the first 10 enrollments. The point of this community is to help people generate effortless compounding traffic generation systems, create an endless supply of engaging content, get seen by people who are willing to purchase products from you, and to increase your monthly income by $3,000. If you're looking to start an affiliate marketing business, Impactful Traffic Community has opened its doors and you will be trained by me to finally start generating income online. I've left the link to this in the description of this video. Here we are inside the pickaxe software and straight off the bat we have an extremely simple interface. We have our main navigation bar at the top which is where we can create go through the pricing, blog, and community. And then we also have our dashboard, which will load a snapshot of information. We're gonna jump in and just do create a tool. And now we have three different options to pick from. We have the default pickaxe option, which will create AI powered widget, including user input fields. We have the chatbot, which will create powered prompts that will engage with users on a conversational level and then we have the automatic AI builder which will assist you through the entire journey of creating an app. We'll go ahead and start off with the automatic AI builder and now it's going to ask us three questions. So, so far this is pretty simple. We just clicked on a button and now the software is actually guiding us on what to do. So, the first question is, are you ready to get started? Yes. It's asking what type of tool do we want to build? I want to build, let's say, a sales page generator. So, I'm just going to say sales page generator created from entering a service type. Now it said, what will people do with the tool? So they will enter a service and it will create a sales page. We'll do enter. And now it's asking what your unique take on it. And I'm not quite sure what that actually means, but I'm just going to say one page sales generator done for you. Now it's creating the prompt for us. So I'll go ahead and let you just pause the screen and read all of this. But ultimately what it's done, it's created a persona for us. Then it's given us some guidelines and it's given us some writing style. So if we're happy with the prompt, which I am, I'll just say yes. And it's saying that the sales page generator is ready. It's loading and we go to our new pickup. So here is the prompt it's generated and we can change all of this, all of the language models if we wanted to. We can upload a knowledge base. So if it's something more specific to our business or we want it to follow even more guidelines, we can upload our own documents or or our own websites, which is really handy if you're creating like a customer service bot. We can add an intro message, we can add further dialogue to help it get our tone of voice. And then we can also say we want it to generate images, we want it to do web browsing, and we can also allow users to upload their own documents to the knowledge base. Under the advanced options, this is where we can dictate the maximum output length or the input length, uh, the memory duration, how exaggerated or how much we want it, the AI to produce content from its own sort of knowledge bank or if we want it to stick to our data that we upload and also removing any sort of language we don't want in so ai especially chat gpt uses a lot of very um non-human like exaggerated words that we don't often use so we can actually input all of these in these input fields uh, i'm just going to leave it as is right now test the chatbot so we're going to say uh, paye services and we'll do enter. And now it's just created the text, which is pretty cool. So maybe let's try something a bit different. So perhaps we'll say something lines of web design services. So it's doing an okay job, but it's a bit short. So perhaps we will try and make it a little longer. So we'll make it around here and then we will re-enter 
what we just put and we're not really getting longer outputs but we'll continue and, and we'll see how this progresses so we'll do next step and then we'll do publish chatbot okay so now the chatbot has been published it's currently private um, we can add our own domain if we wanted to or we can just copy the project link and we can preview it so this is what it will look like for the customer so we can just say again we'll add in some plumbing services ah this is much better here we go so now it's just created this for us and it's actually very smooth in the flow of the tech it's even created a little offer for us at the bottom and it includes the call to action which is exactly what we want we can share this or we can even look at the history of the bot and now if we go to our dashboard we have our bot right here and if we click into it this will show the sales page of which where we can actually start designing the sales page so we've got the sales page here or the landing page which we can start editing if we wanted to so we click the edit button and then we can click on it and edit just however we see fit but it does it all for us so we don't actually need to do that much if we chose not to we go back we can now add another page or we can add folders or we can just build out the app really easily using this tool we can also monitor the app so this is where we would manage you know how many people have purchased how many members we've got uh, how we can add users just by clicking the add user and inviting them to the platform and also the model settings and 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 inside the access area where we can control the pricing so we can give a usage limit or make it invite connect our stripe account or add different tiers so it's actually pretty in depth and you can do quite a lot and if we look at the pricing page here's the pricing page and again we can just edit this as we see fit we can also add our own pop-ups like login pop-ups and authentication pop-ups which is in this section this makes everything really simple to use this is actually very impressive so overall this was a brief review of pickaxe and if you'd like me to do a more in-depth review of this ai app builder go ahead and leave a comment below and i'll do just that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video